Oh, maybe it's bigger than I... Oh, bro. <laughs> no way. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There, I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna. We got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants. Look at the Panama! Fish on, on the jig. I'm not sure what it is. It's weird, it feels heavy, but it's not fighting very hard. Oh, I say that, there it is. I'm hooked up big on the jig. Ow. Uh, I mean, there's some action going on out here, so I would say, I would say your best bet would be to stay in here. Um, and there are some bait around, so I would drop the small jig, try to, get, uh, try to see what you can get on that small jig. I'm hooked up big on the jig right now. Big, big, big. I'm coming, Robert. Oh, you guys, big fish, big fish. Uh, it's near the rocks. I can't stop it without thumbing it. Oh man, I can feel the rocks, man. I feel like I'm gonna lose it. Uh, oh. uh, 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 no! Oh, bro. Bro. Ow. Oh my god, dude. Uh. I've never had a fish on like that in my whole life. Ow, dude. It, it was like super heavy in the beginning and not fighting and I was like, it's a turtle. Oh, shit. It's a turtle and then like And then it knew man, I could feel it going around the rocks. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. I was holding it and it was burning my hand. It was yeah. still spinning. I couldn't stop it. Damn it. Oh wait Something just messed with it. You might come back for it. Damn, I thought you had it up. Never in my life. No, no. Yeah, there's a, there's a big fish down there right now. Scary big fish. That was big mama right there. That might have been. And it, big, and she, big she destroyed me. You guys, I don't know what that was, but uh, it hurt me and it left me before I even got to meet it. That was wild, dude. That was wild. Oh. Maybe it's bigger than I... Oh, bro. No way. Broke me off. Oh my God, dude. I'm gonna go in with Pat. I don't even remember that. <laughs> Again, I was like, no, it's not that big. <laughs> no, it broke me off because I was thumbing it, man. I couldn't stop him. He was still pulling drag when I was thumbing it. it broke the line. I had to break the line. Unreal. There are some monsters out here, you guys, and they are, uh, down there laughing at me right now. That is uh, the third time I've gotten just completely owned in like the last hour and a half and uh, it's taken its toll. The last one got me down the rocks. I could not slow it down at all. So this one I did everything I could to stop the reel from spinning and it pretty sure broke, broke my line. Insane. Yeah, just broke the fluoro. 
Well, the jig bite is on, and I came out here trying to jig up a big fish. And I've had two really good chances, and uh, just got completely destroyed on both of them. Los Buzos, baby, the land of giants. I've been jigging for four hours. The action is turned on. The big boys are chewing. And I am undergunned. Third time's a charm. <laughs> you got more jigs, don't you? I got more jigs. This is the exact jig. I just lost both those on. Oh, drop her back down, try again. So let it all the way down to the bottom and you kind of want to be ready so that when it hits bottom, you can kind of immediately get it off so you don't get hung up. So I'll just do a few cranks like that and then I'll do a few with like kind of big ones. You let it go down. Um, you'll do like eight or 10 of those. And then, and see again, for every, every one crank with the reel is one pop. And you know, logically, it, I don't know if that helps, but you'll, you'll kind of feel it when you get in the, in the rhythm. And you don't have to go that fast. You don't have to go that fast. <laughs> right, right. It's more important to have kind of a good smooth cadence than it is to be super fast. Um, Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, that's something bigger. Oh, that's something, that's bigger. something bigger. Yeah, nice. Mine's pretty small. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. That's a big boy. Dude. That might be a broom tail. Bro, if you got my broom tail, I'd be so mad at you. <laughs> I'd be so mad oh, at God. You. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Gigantic blue runner, bro. Oh. Is this a blue runner? Oh, God. Oh, you're getting annihilated. Wow. Got a, a jumbo blue runner. I think I got a broomtail. You got a broomtail? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. This feels wow. just like that broomtail. Oh, we are out here catching snapper left and right. Adam hooked into something much bigger. I was busy bringing up this blue runner, so didn't get to fill in the beginning, but it was destroying him. And uh, But he's got it up off the rocks now. This is a... Uh, not the easy part of the fight, but this is, uh, he's pretty much got him. Once he's got him up out of those rocks, whatever it is. Could be a Cabrera snapper, could be a broomtail. I've still never caught a broomtail, but Adam has, and he says it feels like one. Coming up. Oh, I see it. Broomtail. Broom nice. Nice broomtail, dude. God, me jerk. It's all I wanted today. It's a broomtail. You're right next to me. You dropped the jig five times, and there it is. I've dropped it 400 times. Oh, dude, stud. Adam just uh, jigged up a uh, Mondo broomtail grouper on the jig. Um, anyone that does not have a bait should definitely come out here and drop the jig with us. Uh, yeah, big boy. Oh, yeah. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. So that is a broomtail grouper. We have caught him. That's why we call that the broomtail spot. The right broomtail spot <laughs> delivers, man. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Oh yeah. So these are one of our kind of trophy bottom fish. We've uh, been figuring out how to catch them in the last year and, and we've uh, been getting on a pretty consistent. Kevin caught a 53 pounder last week. That guy's probably what, 30 something? Yeah. Big boy. Only 30. Beautiful fish. Really strong fighters. Look at that tail. I'm so jealous. Yeah, you can see why they call them broomtails. What, you worn out or something? <laughs> a little bit. I get the blue runner on the big jig, and you get a broomtail. The one fish I was out here trying to catch all day today. Cool. Cool. No, I'm not it's mad. It's funny because that was like, all I saw was bait. Right. I was just trying to catch, uh, trying to catch blue runners or moonfish. There's probably a bunch of moonfish down there. That's probably what they're eating. Cool. I'm, I'm not bitter or anything. Mm -mm. Eh. Nope. <laughs> Definitely don't hate you right now. Nope. This is why Adam is the uh, head guide, operations manager out here. One of the fishiest guys I know. I joke, I, I joke that I hate him, but uh, I love this dude. Check out this fish, bro. <sighs> Holy cow. Yeah, that's, wow. a, that's a broomtail grouper. That is a broomtail, baby. 
And that one's probably maybe 30, 35. So you can imagine the 53. Wow. Yeah. Beast of a fish, man. Woo! Nice work. <laughs> and I've, I've dropped the jig 400 times here. He drops it like three times and gets the exact fish I've been out here trying to catch all day. I was just trying to, I was dropping the sabiki and everything and I just got tired of it and I just had to drop the big jig. Are you gonna keep him? Yeah, yeah, we'll keep him. These broomtail grouper are great to eat. So uh, this guy will be feeding us probably uh, for the next few days. Yeah, for sure. The real question is whether or not he fits in the fish bag. <laughs> I don't think he's going to. Yeah. Well, especially with my world record black spotted rose snapper in there, I mean, <laughs> you know. And, uh, plus this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. You hadn't even put that in the bag yet? And you just... Not yet. Wow. Great fish, man. Ooh, baby. I am uh, so jealous. And now this means I'm not going to leave this spot the rest of the day. His brother's down there. Yeah, his big brother, hopefully. Yeah, or his mama. Yeah. You want the mama. You don't want the brother. Right. It's a, it's a milk. It came right out. A mama I'd like to catch. Milk. 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 <laughs> it's getting a little nautical out here. The wind has picked up. We've had monsoon rains here. Uh, off in the distance, you can see the mountains are covered by cloud cover right now. I mean, it's... Oh my gosh. Right here. Oh my gosh. Holy sh bro. Just came up like 15 feet from my boat. Woo! These whales are right here on top of me. Oh, uh, this is a nerve-wracking spot to be right now. Oh, but just incredible to see them this close. Oh, but I don't like this. Uh, got some swirly water right there. Woo! That was crazy, bro. Right next to me. Woo! Whales just ran through a pot of probably eight, maybe nine individuals. Didn't see any babies, looked like mostly adults. But uh, three of them came up right in front of my boat. Yee doggy. That was close, bro. Started getting nervous. There was like swirly water right next to me. I was like, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. When you start marking a submarine on the depth finder, that's when you know. Upgraded himself big time. Oh, yeah. oh beauty right there. Woo! Woo so we just had a little rainstorm come through. This is the rainy season. It pretty much rains every day, but typically about 30 minutes and then it passes. Uh, this time about 20 minutes. But uh, as usually happens after these little rainstorms pass, the wind dies down, the seas slick out. I mean, it is like a mirror out here. Here we got Wahoo on the XPSG Bass Pro Shop. Incredible, body didn't got cut. Oh my god. I'm so stuck right now. Woo! Pull it up. Yes, man. Nice. Joe here just got uh, his first broomtail grouper. Another species checked off the list. Just a little guy, but new species. They're really pretty fish, especially when they're small. It's pretty deep here. So that was not the bottom. Just played in a strike normally. No, no, no horsing it up. Rear, 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 rear. Oh yeah! Woo! Oh yeah, that's a fish! Wow! Woo! Good size, man. That's a big boy. Nice! Stud! Woo! How was that fight? Oh, man, it was awesome. David here from North Carolina just got his first rooster fish. That's a stud, too, dude. Nice fish. Yeah! How was that fight? Good? So, Adam Fisk here. Jerry's gonna help him get it measured. 47. Nice. 47. Very nice. 
but the fish are chewing. Another epic day here at Los Buzos Resort in Cambutal, Panama. Uh, this place just never disappoints. It was a bit of a grind at times, but at the end of the day, I think they counted. Two big cuberas, two or three big roosters, big broomtail grouper, and I got annihilated by two fish that I can only assume were either giant broomtails or giant cuberas. I do not know, but at least that first one, I have never in my fishing career felt a fish pull like that. That was not light tackle. I had my entire hand on the reel, could not stop it. Absolutely insane. We call this place the land of giants for a reason. You never know what you're gonna hook into. I still think the highlight of the day for me was Pat, that big old rooster fish on the, uh, on the light bait rod. What a day, what a day. As always, if this is the first episode of Field Trips Panama you've ever seen, if you wanna come out here and do this with us, check out losbuzos.com, the link's down in the description, or if you wanna expedite that process or get all the information sent to you, send an email to info at losbuzos.com. If you'd like to come out here on one of my trips, I'm out here three times a year for two weeks each. I'd love to have you out and help put you on the fish of a lifetime. So shoot him an email, let him know you want to come on a field trips week, come out here with Rob, and I guarantee you a good time. <sighs> Ready to go in, get a beer, get some food, take a shower. This fish got me sweating. That's some fish, bro. And my wahoo's not there. Yeah, that's without the wahoo. That's some fish, ladies and gents. Woo. Jesus. This camera, no, this camera. Guys are sick of holding the fish. I don't feel sorry for any of you guys. All kinds of fish landed today. Wahoo. 19.7. 19.7. This is one of the tastiest fish that swims. Yeah, I got a captain here, Richard. They call him Pio. Kevin went out with him today and they wore the tuna out. Work is not done for this guy. Now he's cleaning the fish. And there's a lot of fish to clean, man. Thanks for thanks for doing that. Fresh nigiri. Look, I'm gonna take this. Thanks to uh, Kevin, Joe, Rob, and Richard. Got it done today. Tell you guys all week, man. The seared tuna night. My favorite night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Spoiler alert, it's amazing. Very good. Yeah, yes.